of any night, said the coxswain of the crew. The chances of survival on a night like this are few. December 1940, off the coast of Donegal, came a great north wind that could have been the cruelest of them all. Fourteen men were missing, eighteen more in great distress. Jack Boyle had their future, and his hands had come to rest. He knew a man who knew the sea, if any man would know. Will you show the way without delay? O'Donnell said, I'll go. I'll go and do the best I can. I'll do what must be done. I'll go, cause I'm an island man. I am my father's son. I will go and do the best I can. I'll do what must be done. I'll go, cause I'm a lifeboat man. I am my father's son. Neighbors watched them gather and they cast a worried eye and wondered how that lifeboat crew could possibly survive. They all agreed that some at least the greatest price would pay. And the old man shed a tear and knelt down on the ground to pray. While standing on the pier with his hand picked squad of men. Jack told each one that they might never see their homes again. He told each one there'd be no shame if this time they said no. Each traced the cross upon his brow, stepped up and said, I'll go. I'll go and do the best I can, I'll do what must be done. I'll go cause I'm an island man, I am my father's son. I will go and do the best I can, I'll do what must be done. I'll go, cause I'm a lifeboat man, I am my father's son. Against the storm, against the gale, against the mighty whale, these men were rightly honoured as the bravest of the brave. And let us all salute them and thank God for men like these. Risk their lives for strangers in peril on the seas. O'Donnell, Ward, and Gallagher, remember these names well. With the boys, the Burns, and Rogers, they faced the seas from hell. With the waves above them crashing down and the heaving mass below, God bless them, everyone who made the vow to say, I'll go. I'll go. Best I can, I'll do what must be done. I'll go, cause I'm an island man. I am my father's son. I will go and do the best I can, I'll do what must be done. I'll go, cause I'm a lifeboat man. I am my father's son. This volunteer lifeboat crew, a cylinder. They faced the greatest storm that they had ever seen before But they brought those 18 sailors home and left them on the land Now they're safe and well and home again by the grace of God's own hand And now they soar above the waves where the barren eternal rest And surely if there's justice they're seated with the best I like to think in that last hour God whispered soft and low And welcomed home the eight brave men who made the vow to go I'll go and do the best I can, I'll do what must be done I'll go cause I'm an island man, I am my father's son I will go and do the best I can, I'll do what must be done I'll go, cause I'm from Maranmore, I am my father's son. Yes, I'll go, cause I'm from Maranmore, I am my father's son. This song is uh, about a heroic rescue that took place off the coast of Donegal in 1940 on the 7th of December. And... Uh, 
I don't use the term heroic lightly either because uh, the crew of the lifeboat went out knowing that 14 men were already missing. Uh, 10 had actually drowned in a previous attempt to get them rescued off the boat, uh, which was the SS Stolvik. And uh, they were going around the west coast of Ireland at the time because it was in the middle of the Second World War and there was a thing called slow convoys went down around the west coast accompanied by uh, British warships that were protecting them. Uh, the call went in to Iron Moor lifeboat uh, late at night and as daylight rose in the morning with a 60 foot swell and a hurricane force wind and sleet and snow and what not Jack Boyle put together a crew of very brave but very able seamen, um, all uh, fishermen from the island uh, who worked on the lifeboat. And uh, on board the lifeboat KTGS, they, they headed out into an absolute nightmare sea to do their best for the crew, the remaining crew of the Stolvik. There were 18 left on the Stolvik. And having got out there, it took them five hours in what would normally be, uh, what I believe, about an hour and a half in an open, in an open top boat and uh, having been almost consumed by a big wave as they left the blind rock. They managed to make the Stolvik. They got there, they rigged up a breeches boy, which is like a pulley between the two, between the lifeboat and the, and the stricken ship. And, uh, and they proceeded to take the men off. The breeches boy broke three times, and the last time they actually had to drag the the final man off the boat. The captain came off the boat. Um, they got him on board. He had uh, apparently had a couple of bottles of whiskey in his pocket, which were um, they held on to them until they, they they decided they were going to hold on to them. They reached dry land, and uh, 14 hours after they left Iron Moor, they finally arrived in Borton Port with 18 sailors and the full crew of the, the lifeboat um, safe and sound and uh, there was never a word about this until Jerry Early and John Gallagher uh, decided to write a song about it and um, the song's called I'll Go I'll go and do the best I can I'll do what must be done I'll go cause I'm an island man I am my father's son I'll go and do the best I can I'm from now.